almost every day I get questions about what framework I should use, what tech stack should I be building with, what database provider should I go with? And obviously, I have a lot of opinions because I have a lot of favorites in the space. That said, I don't think it matters that much. It's way more important that you pick something than it is that you pick the right thing. The reason for that is no matter what you pick, you will eventually run into problems. And it's much more important to build the muscles to go through those problems than it is to pick correctly when you get started. I have a video where I talk about a lot of the details here, but I really want to push this mindset. The specific technologies you pick are not what determines if you succeed or fail. I find that earlier developers in particular struggle with this a lot. I regularly get questions like, hey, I want to build a Google Drive clone. Which framework should I use? Or, hey, I want to make Instagram for cats. What backend provider should I go with? Or, hey, I want to build a Twitter clone. What database should I go with? It doesn't matter. And if you think that those are the decisions that matter, you're going to get lost so much faster because you're going to be way more committed to that technology than you should be. And you're not going to process the the problems you run into anywhere near as well. The way you learn these things isn't by asking someone smarter to make the right recommendations. It's by making a choice, hitting the ground running, building a bunch of stuff, running into problems, figuring out how people who use those technologies solve those problems, comparing that to how people who use different technologies solve those problems, figuring out which solutions make the most sense to you and give you the most confidence going forward, and then going with those. The reason technologies matter is the confidence you get from them, not the individual implementation details of what they do. And if you want to build confidence, you can't borrow mine. Your confidence has to come from you. And that confidence comes from making good decisions, making bad decisions, combining the two, and shipping some software. You got to just sit down and get the rep in. You got to build things incorrectly. You have to pick the wrong technology for the job dozens, if not hundreds of times before you know what the right technology is. And sure, I could help you skip a few steps by giving you a handful of technologies that might help a bit. But now you're not building those muscles that you really need to have. You're not figuring out how to work around a problem. You're not figuring out why those technologies were even the right choice. Knowing how to pick a technology and how to drop a technology is way more important than starting with the right tools. So yeah, the solution isn't to show up here and ask me which you should start with over and over again until I cave and give an answer. Just pick one. If you have friends that use a specific one, then you can ask them questions. Take advantage of that. Use that. If you don't have friends that are using other technologies, maybe scroll through the docs of three. Maybe build a quick Hello World or Clicker demo app with three or four different frameworks and see which makes the most sense to you. Then pick it. Realize a year or two later you picked wrong and learn your lesson from it. But Theo, I need to get a job. I need to pick the most hireable technology. Sure, you can go pick whatever has the most jobs available, but I promise you cold applying doesn't work anymore. You don't get jobs from which technologies are on your resume. You get them from demonstrating your ability to solve problems and impressing enough people who have decision-making power to actually get the offer in the first place. When I was hiring for the ModView team, the two best devs I hired were an Ember dev and an Angular dev. Neither had any React experience when I brought them on and both became wizards in almost no time. That's because I didn't screen them for how good are they at React. I screened them for how well do they solve problems because the individual framework or tools that you use are things you can learn relatively quickly. Obviously, if the team needs a senior React dev to help dig you out of some weird performance issues, that's the thing you need to hire for specifically. When it comes to just building product and improving experience for users, the technology you start with does not matter at all. Don't be scared of rewrites. Don't be scared of picking wrong. And don't be scared of asking questions once you've made your decisions. But please, please stop asking me which technologies you should use. Just pick something. It really doesn't matter that much. You will find success if you get the reps in. Just sit there, build, break things, learn, and what comes out on the other side will surprise you. If you haven't already watched my goals video, I'll be sure to pin that in the corner here. It's one of the best I've ever done, so please watch it if you haven't already. And if you already have, the video below it should be good too. Appreciate y'all as always. See you in the next one. Peace nerds.